Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today I thought I'd just go over all the, some, a few of my characters that I've worked on over these last few years and just go up, show you guys a little bit closer, make it into a shorter video for you guys. So I really wanted everything in my army to be Gravis. Um, so anyway, I started off with this. This was from the Indomitus box set. It's pretty much standard, really, but I just changed it to a Night Lord head. Uh, and I did the black a little bit different. I added dark ink by. Uh, I didn't want pure black, obviously I gave him the crimson fish shoulder pad. This made him look a little bit like cool. It took, I took quite a long time on this. I thoroughly enjoyed doing all the breastplates and stuff. Uh, I've still yet to use him in the game, but you know, he looked cool in my drawers. And then I didn't want to fork out loads and loads of money for a chaplain on bike, so I kitbashed my own. Uh, <laughs> uh, same again, I used the Indomitus thing, so about two. Because I'm a massive, massive nerd. And then I use an Outrider bike. I did the same again with the Incubi and just built it up. And just did a mix. And just added loads of skulls. A little cool book just for if it gets a bit bored. The chains are kind of to hide that gap there. Between the bike and the bike legs and the actual chaplain. But it does look like I think I've got away with it. But yeah, that's my chaplain on bike. Once again, I mean, guess in the comments how many times I've used that guy. In a, in a game. LOL. And then, lastly and not least, this was my Gravis chaplain. Uh, I've not painted him, as you can see, uh, but it will be painted hopefully very soon. I'm getting so this model right here was uh, from my good friend Normski, and he did everything other than obviously I've just put a head on. He did all the other stuff for me uh, to make it into Gravis. Obviously, there's no Gravis armor for the. Chaplains, but I just wanted all my army to be in sync and be in Gravis armor. So I made this little beast over here and Then I will go to the next one and that is this guy. So this one my tech tech marine But well, once again this idea from Norm as well uh, He told me about the iron hands body. I swapped the head uh, new shoulder pad Pretty easy really and filed a lot of the stuff off and just made it look more Imperial really uh, this guy's almost finished. There's just a few more little bits and pieces to do, and it'd be good. I once again, I've I've not used him on the battlefield yet, but it's it, it looks it looks cool in my draw. Uh, and then I really needed this for a tournament. I needed an apothecary, so I made this uh, Death Watch one because I didn't want to paint that much white because I'm lazy, and it's not one of my favourite colours to paint. So I kind of like. Kind of ish kit bash this one. Uh, I've just like used obviously the backpack and the arms, really. I think I don't think I've even used these, are just bits and bobs, some stuff as well. So, yeah, this were kind of just all like mashed together. I just wanted to look a little bit different. Obviously, before games, I do tell people that he, he is an apothecary. Um, I'm sure he's in Gravis Armor, yes, he is. Is a big dog like all the other ones. Uh, and then, once again, another special. Uh, this guy's in Gravis as well. I've actually used this guy on the battlefield numerous times. It is my Gravis uh, Librarian. Uh, and this was another model that Normski built for me. Pretty much, or give me the idea or the parts. And then, obviously, I did the head and the shoulder pad. But he did pretty much... Like that, how to do the army, just give me a lot of help and give me the sword and stuff. So, this guy's pretty awesome. Um, Labyrinth's pretty hard now in game as well. I've, I have actually used, I only use this in ninth, but yeah, that were that were old school. Uh, last but not least, I did this guy ages ago. He was a, a lieutenant. This was one of my favorite models when I first started doing my Space Marines. I used him because I had nothing else to use. Uh, I don't really use them anymore, but like I got one of my friends to print me out a little Space Marine, so it looked like I was shouting through there. And yeah, it was just a normal, actual normal thing. And once again, I put him in the Death Watch. A lot of the models, or not more models, a lot of the people in, all this, a lot of Space Marines in the Crimson Fist are actually part of the Death Watch as well. So I've got a few of them in my army, even though this guy... Once again, I don't use. Anyway, people, thank you very much for watching. And uh, hopefully you like it and everything. Uh, big loves. And don't forget to hit your seatbelt. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye.